Hi, this is Julie Davidsey, and I'm going to show you how to take your true type fonts and fill them in with color using your freeform feature. I have two true type fonts here. Uh, one is cast iron, and the other is LD polka dot. You can Google those and find out exactly where to purchase them or to download them to your computer. Let's get started. We have uh, our freeform feature over here and we're going to click add brush layer and that's going to give you a box. You're going to click off the box so that you can drag it wherever you need it to be and size it up. So we'll make this a little bit smaller and drag it out a little bit so you're covering the whole area in which you want to fill in with your color. Let's go up to the combos in your color palette and choose Surprise Me. Oh, I like these colors. Let's choose Perfect Plum and Pear Pizzazz. So click on Perfect Plum and hit OK. And then we're going to color in using our brush. So if it's solid, you have a brush. And if it's not solid, it is an eraser. So hit your brush. You'll have a solid cursor. And I want to make this into a square because I'm going to be doing some corners. So you start at the top and click and drag. And just color in where you want your perfect plum to be. Now you can go over and make your brush bigger. So click and drag. You can fill in spaces faster. It's easier to get into the corners with the smaller, obviously. So we'll make it a little bit smaller to get the little corners. All right, so we are going to finish up our perfect plum. Then we're going to change our color to pear pizzazz. OK. I'm going to change my brush to a circle and make it a little bit bigger. Fill in all of your little spaces. You don't have to be perfect because you can go back and use your eraser tool. And it's sometimes easier to just brush over and then get the little spots with the eraser that you are not happy with. Okay, let's finish filling in our pear pizzazz. And all the little Tiny spaces sometimes. Alrighty, let's now we're going to go to our layers button with the layer tool. Click layers and you're going to bring your text to the front to the top of your list and hit OK and that brings your font to the front. Now we'll move on to the polka dots. Um, we'll do the same thing. Uh, choose a color. Go to the combos. Surprise me. There's a cute um, color combo there. I think we're going to use the Rich Razzleberry Island Indigo and the Pool Party. Uh, let's go ahead and choose Pool Party first and hit OK. I'm going to use a great big brush to just do big swipes on this letter so I can get it done quickly. 
if I go out of the lines I can just go back in and touch up with the eraser sometimes you want it to be more perfect than others sometimes you want it to just be a little bit more rustic and hand done it's just up to you how you want to fill that in let's finish the rest of these And then we're going to bring the font from your layers to the front again. So we'll drag it to the top, hit OK. And then we've got our colors, but I want to add colors to the spots. So you need to go in and add another brush layer box and adjust it down to the size that you want and then I'm going to pick very vanilla in my brush so I can fill in all the little polka dots on my fonts so they have a little bit of a contrast color and I'm going to get it the right size so all I have to do is just just click it and the little dot will be there with my circle so I'm going to fill in all the little polka dots with our very vanilla and then I can when I'm all done, I can go back with my eraser and clean up all the edges. So that it'll look nice and clean as I pull it forward. To go to your layers, bring your font back to the top again of your list. Hit OK, and you're done. I hope you enjoy the video. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me at stampandjewel at cox.net or my website is juliedavidc.stampinup.net. Have a great day. Bye.